I need to ask for your forgiveness. I haven't been keeping up on politics or global warming. A little girl's hand grabbed my attention the other morning, and this winter her hands will need a place for warming. Sometimes some headlines just take up too much space. Sometimes pushing some people to the land of out of sight, out of mind, even in my own state. Not in my city though, right? I wonder this winter, where will she fold her tiny hands from the cold? Now I lay me down to sleep. Where do homeless families find rest in our city and bring their children to eat? Cars were made for driving in. Would we be able to say not in my city if I told you there are cars people are living in? To my mom's disapproval when I was a kid, I used to do my homework in front of the TV. Another little boy does his homework on the floorboards of a Chevy circa 1993. And car door handles were not designed to be doorknobs on a little boy's bedroom. Could we say not in my city? Would someone say that with me, not in my city? Have you ever showered next to a homeless man? It happens in your city more often than you think. Happens so fast you might miss it if you blink. It's often a 60 second flash in a bathroom sink. One hand pump of soap, no eye contact. Up and down the face, front and back, no eye contact. Once through the hair and then out the door to wear. Where do the homeless go in our city? Tonight, instead of going home, what if your address was 1604, nowhere to go? I was once told when opportunity knocks, you answer that door. And there will be times where people will need your knuckles to knock for them, to be that opportunity. An opportunity to shower in a shower. An opportunity of shelter from the cold concrete street. An opportunity that when bellies were hungry, we gave them something warm to eat. Gave little heads and shaky hands an opportunity of peace and a warm place to sleep. Turn away enough times, we will always be faced with it again. But we have the opportunity to say, not in my city, my friend. We can be that opportunity. So together we can say, when we saw someone in need, we said, not in my city. We can build a place out of love on a foundation of compassion, a city that refused to turn blind eyes and instead took action. And as I think about that little girl, I remind myself, my contemplation does nothing to comfort her. I need to do something. We can do something today.